I have often shared uh, an experience that happened uh, just within the past two years, actually, not even that, a year and a half, uh, at San Quentin in my ministry at the prison. And it was at a time uh, I had been ordained at that point, maybe nine months or so, uh, and it was during Lent. And it was um, a time when I had a lot going on. I was still trying to adjust to what did it mean to be a new priest. I was a first-year law student. Uh, there were some things going on in my ministry, in um, my personal life, and my vocation, where it was just, it was kind of a stressful time. And this one Sunday morning, it was a, it was a cold and kind of damp morning, and I had a, a list of people to see on the tiers at the prison. And in all honesty, I, I really didn't have the energy for it. Um, but there was one more name at the bottom of that list, an inmate who had asked to see a priest, and he was on the fifth tier. So I walked all the way up the five tiers, and he was in the very last cell at the very end. And I walked down there, and again, it was, it was dark up there, it was cold. Um, it's a pretty miserable place. I mean, birds fly around, and you know, there are droppings everywhere. It's an ugly place. Uh, it's noisy, it smells. And I went to this last cell on the fifth tier um, and walked up and, and kind of rapped on the bars there. And uh, this man jumped out of his bed and, and kind of wiped the, the sleep out of his eyes. And uh, he was Spanish speaking and he said, uh, Padre podemos rezar, uh, can we pray? And let me tell you, we prayed. And it was a moment where the prayer was not from me, because I didn't have the energy for it, in all honesty. But this man's faith drew my own faith out of me. And let me tell you, Jesus was there. And this was not just Father saying a prayer for some prisoner. This was another child of God and me in there sharing our faith. And it was a profound experience. And what was even more profound was afterwards I asked him, I said, um, you know, what is, what is your name? Como te llamas? And he said, me llamo Jesus. My name is Jesus. And in that moment, I had a profound encounter with Jesus. And it's a moment that I think replays in, in every Jesuit's vocation. There are these moments when we're not sure where to find God, and God finds us. And in that morning, Jesus literally found me on the fifth tier in the 50th cell of a maximum security prison. And I was able then to share that experience as a part of uh, the homily that I offered at the Easter Vigil a few weeks later, because the Easter Vigil is all about uh, the light of the resurrection breaking into the darkness of our world. And God does that in a Jesuit's life, and then God asks us as Jesuits to witness to that in the lives of people who we work with. I'm Father Kurt Denk, and this is my calling.